Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. And I will be walking you through fourth grade English, week number 21, and day number three lesson of the curriculum. All right, so today is going to be about phonics. We're going to be talking about phonics and spelling. And we get a chance to talk about plurals today. We've been talking about plurals for the past few weeks. We talked about how to form plurals when a word ends in a Y, when a word ends in an F. When a word ends in an F-E. We've been talking about all those different rules and tricks of the trade, so to say, to form plurals with those words. But do you know that there are times that you form plurals of words without necessarily changing the word? And there are other times that you are required to change the world, the word completely. All right, it's going to be a different word to form its plural. Oh, how do I know all that? I know, I understand, it may be a little bit confusing, but it takes getting used to those words. So I'm going to be sharing with you certain examples of words that fall into that category. Watch with me. All right. So there are times in English that forming plurals will not exactly follow the rules that we talked about before. All right, let's find examples over here. Singular and plural. Here we go. So if you see a word like this, tooth, and you want to form the plural of this word, well, you're not going to say tooths, no. We say teeth. Teeth, okay? We say teeth. What about a word like fungus? All right. What is the plural of this word? plural of fungus? Well, the plural of fungus is fungi. <laughs> fungi. All right. What about man? What is the plural of man? A man. Right? The plural is man. Right? Those are completely different words. Okay. What about woman? All right. What's the plural of woman? Well, it is called women. Right? What is the plural of an ox? Okay, an ox is going to be another word. It's, it is called an oxen, okay? And so there are different words like that that you just, you just have to be used to that to understand their plurals. And then there are times that some words just stay the same, but you add additional words to show that you're talking about multiple counts of those objects. So for example, if you were to say Caesar's, Right? This is the singular spelling of the word Caesars. But then you're not going to say Caesarsis or Caesai, <laughs> Caesarsai. What you say is two pairs of Caesars. Okay. So the word still stays the same, but to show that you're talking about multiple counts of an object, you're going to put two pairs of Caesars over there. All right, so what about cattle? Well, cattle is gonna be cattle as well as a plural, but you can say three, all right, let's try to spell it out. Three herds of cattle. You don't say cattles. <laughs> you don't say that. It's cattle is cattle. You can just call it cattle all together. 
I can see some cattle coming over to the yard or something like that. But if you really want to specify counts for those kind of things, you see three herds of cattle. All right, what about sheep? All right, sheep, sheep. You don't say sheeps. No, sheep is gonna be sheep. But you can say a flock of sheep or two flocks of sheep. You can say flocks of and then sheep. All right. So there are gonna be certain words like that in English and I know it may sound a little bit confusing. How do I know? That's why you gotta read, you gotta study, you gotta listen to people, you gotta you know, just follow on with these things and before you know it, you are going to know most words, even though we all are still learning, but most of those fundamental words that you are going to be using in your day-to-day -day conversation, as an English student, you are going to come across, study along with us, stay on board with the HHA, we're going to bring the hero in you, right out of you, all right, did you get something from it? Well, I believe so, uh, please go ahead and turn to page number 120. And you are going to see additional content over there, potential exercises that you can use to retain this content a little bit better. Well, thank you for joining me today, boys and girls. Remember, God cares about you, and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study, with heroes born